Hello. Well, looks like the cat's out of the fucking bag. A Stephen McQueen bag. A Fendi bag. A Louis bag. Ooh! So Bobby's eating well. You know what's not eating? You tonight. You haven't eaten a single thing, and I'm praying for you. Because you know that's not a way to live. It's strange. You've got to get some food in your stomach, no matter how you have to get it. If you got this up. Oh. Uh, hey. Hey, how are y'all? Y'all doing good out there? Uh. Y'all doing good? Well, um, looks like the cat's out of the bag. Um, I'm married now. I'm taking, I'm spoken for. Well, I've been spoken for, to be honest with you, but I never really, like, put too much emphasis on it because, you know, uh, Jesus has had his hold on me since I was about three years old. It didn't start to become a romantic relationship to about two years ago. When he came to my house and he said, Terry, I think I want you something fierce. And I said, well, <laughs> you ask and I shall oblige because you are my Lord and Savior. So come on down here and get yourself some Bernice. And he did. He came from the heavens above. I saw a white light and the white light shone through and came to my house and I saw him. Came to my front doorstep. Red skin and horns on his forehead. I said, damn, Jesus, you look a little different than in the pictures. He said, I know. I know I look a little different, but um, it's because I had plastic surgery. I said, well, I thought you were against that. I am, but there are certain times when he feels like he needs to get like a nose job or something. I said, well, okay. I don't judge you. You're, you're Jesus after all. Came into my house and laid me down on that bed, and the rest was history. And he finally put a ring on my finger. I know you don't see it right now, but that's because it's a divine ring. That ring is divine. Not an onion ring like you're used to munching and crunching on with your big bad ass. It's a divine ring. That ring can't be seen by non-believers. And if you can't see it, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? This little piece of hell. <laughs> About to tick me off. About to take me over. Uh, well, that just tells you that you're a sinner. And you don't love Jesus and you don't love yourself. Now, something is wrong and something is going on in the nether worlds and the nether regions and on this live. Because that number ain't right. So I know it's not about to let me, uh, it's not about to let me, uh, go live people, so let's try. <sighs> let's try and see what we can do here. Might have to restart this bitch. And you know what, that's pissing me off. You think I got time for this shit? Do I got time to repeat everything I just said I don't? <laughs> Hello. Yep, it's about to play games with me. Cause ain't no motherfucking life. I'm early, bitch, it's 10 o'clock. That's what you do it. Oh, my bad, I ain't mean to call you out your name. Sorry. I just, I just felt like maybe you should uh, shut your mouth and learn yourself something. Cause right here, right now, this is the time I usually go live. Here, you gonna tell me I'm early. What was early was your birth. Cause your mom was too busy sniffing on that cocaine. Then taking care of her womb. She had to give a, get a C-section three months early with your premature ass. That's what was early. Yeah, I'm about to, have to restart this live. So. It's such a fun time, right? <laughs> 